Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my channel. This is the one and only, the original Silo Man, coming to you from an underground launch control facility in a former Atlas F intercontinental ballistic missile base outside of Roswell, New Mexico, USA. And for roughly the next 20 minutes, I'm going to be taking you through some of the final photographs that we've been taking over the last four weeks. But I'd like to begin by saying, I hope everyone is safe and doing well during this terrible time that our country is having, and if not the world. But right now we're finishing up. As you can see, some of the things that we're doing is we're going through the and fixing some of the lights, the last of the original lights that we'll be putting up. And you can see those here. We're going through just to create a bit more light. I've added these. These were not on the original plan. However, I did feel they were necessary in which to, you know, create a little more ambiance, so to speak. My, just my temporary desk there that you can see is fairly messy with the computer and all of the other equipment. Then here you have it, and we're putting in some of the lights at the top. I've gone ahead and since, you know, remember that the launch control center of an Atlas F is, is basically a sphere. It's 40 feet in diameter. It's 27 feet from the top of the concrete ceiling to the bottom of the concrete floor. And you have two levels, what we call the upper level and the lower level. The upper level is basically 10 feet, zero inches from the steel itself of the floor to the concrete ceiling itself. On the lower level, from the lower level steel floor, to basically the upper level, you're looking at roughly 12 feet. And then of course you have a crawl space that is beneath the lower level floor itself. So you can see that all comes out to 27 feet. You can see where we've added on some of these walls where I put in some of these additional lights. And two, we're bringing in some of the photographs that I have out of my collection. Just the last minute touches were coming around, as you can see the full bathroom now. We pull down the shower curtain. We've debated, I, I, I've thought about coming in and do custom made glass do sliding doors, but we'll see how that works. The bathroom vanity, and you can see the big mirror in the background. We'll be adding some artwork and whatnot to make it a bit more cozy. Of course, this was an interesting wall in which I had to put this light because you had, in essence, you had to fish everything up through the wall itself. So of course you had to make it bigger. Here's an old entertainment center I had. So at that point we brought it down, put it on the upper level and we're, we're going to be putting it together and putting it up against that wall that you see in the background. Here we've gone ahead and painted the trim, but you can also see we've started to paint the floor of the upper level itself. There in the background is part of the legs to one of the dining room tables that we're bringing down. And that, of course, again is the entertainment center, but you can see where we painted the floor in the background. And again, just finishing up with the lights. And then we'll be finishing the assembly on the entertainment center and the dining room table and getting those in position. Originally, we just put an undercoating on that floor. That was uh, one of the first paints that you'll see there on the left that we tried, and it was just a little too dark, I felt. So anyway, we went with a slightly lighter color. 
again the base there you see for the entertainment center and we're just coming around finishing that plug in doing some of the last minute prep work and there's a, there's always little things to bring her all together Right now being that today is the, the 21st of July. So you can see it's really, I'm, I've been behind for about the last month. And it's just little things that we've been doing here and there, going back through, giving a lot of the original colors. And I say original colors, colors that I painted basically 20 years ago and going back through and repainting some of them. Including the floor all the way up to the surface. And you can see part of the kitchen. And we'll be moving all of that, and of course the refrigerator out so we can paint the floor and things like that. And again, the entertainment center little different angle you can see some of the painting that we've been doing starting in that four corner working our way back around And again, coming back around there. Looking there at the utility room, and then you can see the bathroom door there on your left. We've moved the bed out of the, the office slash bedroom. Getting ready to paint the floor in there. Any last minute touch-ups. Of course, before we do paint the floor. And here's some few pictures of the lower level after we painted the floor. We'll be moving some of that stuff that we're no longer using. Temporarily, really, we've just been putting it under the lower level floor. Being that this side is naturally dry, you really don't need to worry about anything on the lower level concrete. And you've got about a four foot space there underneath the lower level floor. You can see where we moved the refrigerator. Cut it out of the kitchen area. Go through and mop the floor and then let it dry and then go ahead and start painting.
Looking back over at the one of the beds and again part of the um, entertainment center that we'll be putting together. We've moved everything into the bedroom there, getting ready to where we've just painted the upper level floor itself. And we're working out into the stairwell. And we'll be taking a couple days off and allowing that to dry real good. Another shot looking back in there. The reason you're seeing it not as bright is just simply because we got the bulk of the lights turned on. I got a little, lot of those little LED uh, night lights. They're just phenomenal. I mean, I don't think they take a lot of electricity. It's just nice to have around. So when, you know, at night when you're sleeping or at any time really and the lights are off, at least you can see your way around. Otherwise, it's pretty dark in here. You won't see the hand in front of your face. Looking back across. We've just come in after a few days and are now looking at everything and seeing how well the the paint came out on the floor again there's the table and the dining room table we can expand that table quite a bit and here we got Manny putting a coat of paint on the um, oh what we call the blast lock it's between um, the stairwell itself and the entryway. Again, another shot of the lower level where we painted it. And coming on around, you can see some of the stuff we've got to get out of here now. And on the right side, as you're going into the lower level, you can see we've got everything out there. Put a coat of paint on that floor. Some of the shots on the upper level, these are kind of out of sequence. The one that you're seeing here really is a, an after shot because you'll notice before you saw the full bed, the dining room table there, and now all of a sudden you see the little one. We just, but at least it's coming together. Now all those light strings are now down that you see up there off of the ceiling itself. Now we need to get those in those fixtures. I really like these little lights. I and mean, then I put um, uh, 60 watt um, LEDs. And, and I mean, wow, what a difference even from the CFLs. And of course, this is in a soft white. Um, I just don't care for the real stark, stark white. Um, that you have. I know a lot of people are are different, but again, that just comes down to personal preference when you're in a control center. You know, if, at this point, this far underground, and I suppose I just don't mind it. Um, again, where we're putting some of those lights. There'll be another one there on the right side of that photograph. And that's on the inside uh, where we have the little storage area right now. Originally, uh, when this site was operational with the Air Force, that this would have been 
the area of what they call the HVAC and equipment area. A lot of this stuff is starting to come out because we'll no longer be using it here. So we're just into that kind of a process right now. And then we're getting ready to uh, bring in primary power at site 10. Uh, I think in the past you saw one of the videos with site 10, the Atlas F site. Uh, with the doors, the silo doors are open. So we'll be starting on that probably fairly soon. Right now, being in, in mid-July, latter part of July, she's pretty warm still, so. Uh, last week we had it up into the 110s, so. Kind of wait until things cool down a little to do some of the outside stuff there. and Start bringing in primary power. And I've cut the hole there. Obviously, you see I've already got the switch in place. And there we have it, those two lights are in that area. I just really love it. it. You can come in and depending upon what area you're working on, if you need more light, go ahead and go around to the walls and turn them all on. Really not, not all that much to it. Some of the open spaces that you're starting to see, I'll be coming in. I want some of my collection photographs uh, to be blown up and to be matted on very large uh, frames and then I'll be putting them up in those areas. But right now I'm just going around looking at which photographs do I really want. I've tried to maintain everything that you see in here is basically of the Roswell of the 579th uh, Strategic Missile Squadron sites. And then of course a few of them that you see up here are you know, we've got a Titan one on the first launch of it, and then we've got the original Atlas launch. And we've also got the original Atlas launch at Vandenberg Air Force Base in September of 1959. So some of these photographs look pretty good. And you can see there, and that's part of the finished product that you're seeing there. Entertainment center put together, television set in it. Just finishing up this wall here. It's the joint wall to the bathroom. Another angle looking on the back side of the column. Again, a different angle. But it's those open areas that I'm talking about that we'll be coming back to in the photographs. Also here, we'll come back through and you'll see in the, the next few photographs some of the... We'll be painting the trim and eventually those... Just those little inserts will be coming out and the new shelving will be coming in. So you'll be getting to see that. Again, I hope everybody's safe and please stay safe. Um, and thank you so much. For watching if you would and if you're new to this please don't hesitate to subscribe ask a question love to talk to people um, and hope to have something back for you probably within oh the next few minutes I'll be putting together the next one I've kind of got a little free spot here while I'm in Roswell and we'll see what happens again thank you all very much have a great day